everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Nice and early. Welcome, welcome. We are here live at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California. And do you guys see who we're meeting today on TikTok Live for the very first time? Oh my goodness, it is a baby boy sea otter. We're going to learn all about sea otters today. And especially all about this little guy who is new to us here at the Aquarium of the Pacific. So with little guy who currently doesn't have a name, so you will see or hear me calling him, whoa, breathe plan flying in. You'll hear me, oh my goodness, TikTok. There are gonna be so many opportunities for you to screenshot some adorableness during this live stream. So please, if you're screenshotting away, taking cute pictures, please post them on your social media channels and tag us, please. Welcome, we're here live at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California. And as the title suggests, today we are going to be meeting a baby sea otter who you see on your screen right now. He is currently unnamed. We'll take some suggestions while we're live. And he is hanging out with Betty the sea otter. You can see that is a fully grown sea otter. And this is just a little baby. Welcome everybody, let me know where you're watching from today. We are here live at the Aquarium of the Pacific and we're going to learn all about these guys. I'm so excited for this live stream. I've been looking forward to it. I've been so excited to introduce this baby to TikTok. Hello in San Diego, New York, Michigan, Delaware, San Diego again, England, Australia, San Clemente, Portland, Texas, Montreal, Chicago. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hi in Germany. Thank you so much for watching inter us internationally. That's incredible. Scotland, Texas, Arizona. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Do me a favor. If you are enjoying this live stream so far, I know your friends and family are going to enjoy it too. Tap that share button and share it with your friends and family here on TikTok Live. That way we can watch it all together. It's going to be an utterly adorable session today. And you guys, this is our last stream of 2021. But don't worry, we'll be back next year with more streams every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Pacific, just like we have been doing all year. It's been an amazing year on TikTok Live, and we can't wait to continue. So we had to go out with a bang. We had to wrap 2020 on up with just the cutest baby otter in the whole world. Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. Hello in Laguna Beach. Hi, everybody. All right, I think we're ready to get started. I am joined today with mammologist Aaron. I'm so sorry to take the camera off of the adorable baby otter, but check out mammologist Aaron. Hi, Aaron. How are you today? We're doing well today. Who do we? Well, oh, there he is. Who do we have here? <laughs> so this is our young otter. He is actually 14 going on 15 weeks old. Wow. And then he is joined by Betty, who is an adult female sea otter who you can see behind him. Quite the size difference, a little harder to appreciate when she's in the distance and he's up front. But she weighs about twice as much as he, a little more than twice as much as he does actually. So she is a fully grown adult female. Um, male sea otters will typically get a little bigger than female, so he has some potential to be even bigger than Betty someday. But right now he's just a little guy at just about 15 weeks old. He is just a little guy. You can totally see their size difference there. This is amazing. So how old is Betty again? So Betty is nine years old, going on 10 years old this year, which is, um, a normal age for a sea otter. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's talk about their lifespans. How long does a sea otter live? These guys will typically live about 15 to 20 years. So at 10, Betty is not really an old sea otter, not really a young sea otter. She's just sort of in the middle of her adulthood right now. And then comparatively, we have baby boy here. Who, can you remind us again how old he is? He is 15 weeks old, so 15 just about weeks. four months old. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. And what are you what are you tossing at them right now? What are they eating? They are eating a variety of different seafoods. So you can see clam and shrimp here. This is a clam tongue and this is a peeled shrimp. Delicious guys, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, welcome, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are going to learn all about sea otters today. And especially a baby sea otter who has arrived at the Aquarium of the Pacific. Erin, can you talk to us a little bit about how the sea otter came under our care? Sure. So he is actually a rescued animal, as are all southern sea otters that live under human care. So he was orphaned very, very young. And sea otters actually cannot survive on their own um, until they're about six months of age. So they actually rely on their mother for a very long time to teach them all the things that sea otters need to know including how to swim, how to groom, how to forage and dive and all of those things. And so because he did not have a mom, we don't know exactly what happened. All we know is we found someone found an orphan sea otter 
and reported it. Um, he ended up getting picked up by the Monterey Bay Aquarium Sea Otter Program and brought in to take care of him so that he could um, have some help since he was so young when he was stranded. Aww. So he came to live here just about a month ago now and we've been working with him. We've been making sure that he is nice and comfortable, hitting all of his milestones, that he's grooming himself well. And we actually paired him with Betty so that we could actually have him learn some behavior from Betty. And he really has been everything she does, he does oh. right alongside <laughs> with her. He's like, you are my mom now. Yeah. Yeah. I you think need to take care of me. Betty tends to think of him as her little brother more, but he definitely <laughs> thinks of her as his mom. So Aww. it's really cute to see. They're very much, he's very bonded to her. He's always her little shadow following right beside her, whatever she does. That is just precious. And welcome everybody. We're here live at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California. And today you are meeting a baby sea otter on TikTok Live. We're here, like I said, at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California. And you guys, I'm going to be so distracted this entire stream by how cute everything that's happening is. So don't mind me. I'm sure you will be too. I don't even know if they're paying too much attention to what we're <laughs> saying behind the camera when this amount of cute is happening on screen. But I can't blame you. It's just so cute. We are a nonprofit aquarium with a focus on conservation and education. And when you donate to us here on TikTok, you are supporting our conservation efforts which this little guy is a part of, and also the other 12,000 animals at the Aquarium of the Pacific. So thank you so much for your support on TikTok Live. All right, welcome. We just had a big boost in viewers. Welcome, everybody. We're here live at the Aquarium of the Pacific, and you are definitely here for this little guy. This one, right? Here. here. Mm -hmm. But we have double trouble. We have Miss Betty hanging out with us today. Erin, once again, for our new viewers, can you uh, introduce the baby? Sure. So our otter is known as Pup 923. That is the number that he came to us with. He is yet unnamed. And with him is Betty, who is our nine, almost 10 year old Southern Sea Otter. And she's hanging out with him. We paired them up together so that he could follow along with her and learn how to be a Sea Otter from basically big sister Betty over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are very attached. He's very attached to her. Right now they're eating some of their lunch, which is clam and shrimp. And Betty might be about to go take a dip in the water. Nope, she's coming oh, over she's to She's getting a little closer. Hi, lady. <laughs> Hi, lovely lady. And he's sitting up like a little squirrel. Little gentleman squirrel. Oh, cute. He's perfect. <laughs> I am obsessed with the baby, you guys. He is precious. And, you know, we haven't named him yet. Does anyone have an idea of what would be a good name for this baby? Let us know in the comments. Um, thank you so much to the three donors who have raised over $35 for our nonprofit program. You guys are incredible. Let's learn more about sea otters. So we see that they're hanging out on some really fun ice. It looks like the good ice, pebble ice. Erin, um, can you tell us a little bit about why we give our sea otters ice? Sure thing. So ice is actually a form of enrichment for our sea otters. We essentially want to make sure we're changing up their habitat, giving them new things to explore, and just kind of keeping their lives enriching. So what the ice does is it gives them an opportunity to munch on some ice, different textures, different temperatures, and sea otters actually have the densest fur of any mammal on the entire planet. So they like to keep nice and... Oh, if I'm quiet, you can hear the baby sea otters. Can you guys hear him? Where's he going? Where's he going? Plop! There he goes. <laughs> oh my goodness. So otters do make noises, right, Erin? They do. Uh, Can you imitate it for us? I would rather you guys just hear it. Okay, we'll wait. We'll because wait. It is a high pitch sound. We'll wait for it. <laughs> and it's cuter when he does it, honestly. Slightly. Yeah, just slightly. Just a little more. If well, I didn't look like that, it would be cute when I did it too. But. <laughs> Welcome everybody. We're here live at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California. And you are here today watching this little guy right here. He is currently unnamed. We're calling him, what are we calling him? Baby boy, little guy, little man. We're calling him 923. 923. <laughs> Everything under the sun. A lot of people are saying Scooter would be a good name for him. I love Scooter. That's adorable. Uh, Otis is a really cute name. Uh, Ollie, after our, our uh, Ollie the Otter that we had here at the aquarium before too. She went to another institution. Um, let's see, lots of names coming in. Great names, you guys. Well, welcome everybody. We're going to learn all about sea otters today. Erin, do you want to get in there by any yeah, way? You want? Okay, yeah. so I'm good. I'll switch with you. Bye. Hi, Katie. Yeah. Katie Mammologist is not here today. Katie Mammologist, that's your name. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Hello. <laughs> all right, Erin is heading inside. And they'll probably come right back up and join us here in just a second. Awesome. So here is our sea We have these two guys out front. We actually have four total episodes, all right? No, so you're fine. Here at the aquarium. So right now we have Betty, who is our larger adult female sea otter, and then we have our otter pup who is named 923, actually doesn't have a name, that's his number, and Betty's going to join us up here and eat some food up here on the ice, 
And like I said, he does whatever Betty does. So what I'm gonna do is pan over to him getting out of the water. Oh, how cute is that? And he's gonna join his friend Betty right here on the ice. So you might be able to see quite the size difference here between Miss Betty and Mr. 923. And right now he's munching on a couple of ice cubes. How cute is that? And I'm gonna toss some food there so that they can enjoy a snack while we learn a little bit more about sea otters. The Aquarium of the Pacific is a nonprofit institution and actually us getting little pup 923 marks a very important milestone in some rescue and conservation work that we are doing. So these guys are actually going to be potentially part, well, Betty is potentially going to be a part of our sea otter surrogacy program that is a partnership with Monterey Bay Aquarium Sea Otter Program. Monterey Bay Aquarium has a sea otter program that essentially is the first to really take care of sea otter pups at this young age and be able to pair them with surrogate mothers who can raise them and actually have them released out into the ocean. And so we are partnering up with them, which is very, very fun. And we are actually pairing Betty with Mr. 923 to see if Betty has what it takes to be a good mother. So that is very, very cool. And how do you say she's doing so far? I'd say she's doing all right. She definitely is learning how to take care of him. She likes to be with him. She's always touching him. And uh, <laughs> they're basically always hanging out together, which is pretty cool to see. That is otterly adorable. Don't you think, TikTok? Let's get some otter emojis in the chat. If you think that this is just a precious moment between our two Southern Sea Otters here at the Aquarium of the Pacific. So I say Southern Sea Otters, Erin. Is there such thing as a Northern Sea Otter? There is such thing as Northern Sea Otters, and those guys live a lot further north and are a little bit bigger than Southern Sea Otters. So Northern Sea Otters live in Alaska, for example, and they do get quite a bit bigger. Southern Sea Otters have sort of a limited range and are a threatened subspecies of sea otter. And they only live just north of Santa Barbara and just south of San Francisco. That is the extent of where the very adorable Southern Sea Otter lives. Sorry, I got a little distracted by how cute he is. He's gonna go take a swim with his friend Betty again one more time. Wait for it. Oh, not quite yet. <laughs> Look at that belly on him. How cute is that? Oh my goodness, Terry. Talk, this is so much fun. We are live here at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California, hanging out inside of our sea otter habitat. So right now we only have two sea otters on exhibit. The other two, Millie and Chloe, are currently behind the scenes. Don't worry, they're hanging out. Erin, um, I probably won't be able to hear you from over there is what oh, I worry about. If you want to come a little bit closer over here so TikTok can hear you. Absolutely. So why do we currently have um, just Betty and the little guy out here? So we actually just have our otter 923 introduced to our habitat for the very first time today. So we wanted to make sure that he was able to explore this habitat just with his friend Betty here before he meets too many other otters. It could probably be a little bit much if you met two otters <laughs> and a whole new habitat all in the same day. And so That'd wanted, be a big day. Yeah, it would be a really big day. And he's just a little guy, not ready for such a big day. And so we are probably going to introduce all of our otters together at some point. But today, that would just be kind of a lot for her. That would be a lot. Um, someone asked if we can pet them. So right now we are actually not working on tactile or touching our sea otters because believe it or not, sea otters can actually contract COVID, which is not something we want our otters to get. And so we are being very, very careful. You might notice I have this big giant and my five mask on, <laughs> so fancy. And that is to protect our sea otters. And you might notice I'm keeping a good distance away from them too. But in normal times, typically we do work on some tactile behaviors with our sea otters so that we can help to take care of them. And right now we've sort of modified those procedures to minimize contact with them to protect them from COVID-19. Amazing, amazing. Welcome everybody for just joining us. We're here live at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California. And today you are meeting a baby sea otter. If you are enjoying this live stream so far, can you do me a huge favor and share it with your friends and family here on TikTok? I wanna get as many people in here to show them how amazing the work we do here at the aquarium is and how adorable Mr. 923 is, of course. Um, is everyone enjoying this so far? Let's get some otter emojis in the comments if you are. Shout out to our 16 donors who have raised over $200 for our nonprofit aquarium. Thank you so much. Um, and that money goes right back to our nonprofit and the 12,000 animals that live here. And Erin, can you tell us a little bit about why the RC otters are the most expensive animals to care for at the aquarium? I absolutely can. So these guys eat a lot of food. As you may have been noticing, these guys have been eating almost nonstop for this entire stream so far. 
One sea otter eats about a quarter of its body weight every single day just to sort of maintain their normal body condition. And so Betty, who is a 52-ish pound sea otter, is eating about 12 to 15 pounds of seafood every single day. And they are getting restaurant quality clam and shrimp here. Um, and those tend to be some of Betty's favorites. So it is not super cheap to take care of sea otters, but we wanna make sure that we are doing everything we can to one, have these wonderful ambassador animals for sea otters, since they are a threatened species. And of course we wanna give them the world-class healthcare and food that we know that we can. So we are giving them the very best of the best. And of course they eat a ton of food every single day. Mr. 923 is sitting up and he is waiting for his friend Betty to rejoin him here, but he might go visit with her in the water. He's making some really cute baby otter sounds as well. I'll try to stop talking when I hear them. So you guys can hear that as well. There he goes. <laughs> Amazing, thank you, Erin. Did everybody hear those little otter sounds? He sounds kind of like a puppy almost. If you watch our, her, our latest uh, video here on TikTok, you can hear a squeak all the way. Erin actually took that video. Thank you, Erin. You're welcome. <laughs> well, welcome everybody. We're here live at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California. And let's go to our question box to sure. answer some questions. Someone says they think we should name him Archie. That's a great name. Audie. Um, Skyler. Just really, really ah, cute names really coming cute in. Names yeah, we love it. We love it. Oh, Erin, this is a great question and it's yeah. actually for you. Um, what's your favorite part about taking care of sea otters? Ooh, that is a tough question. Uh, sea otters are really fun and they can sort of be a little bit unpredictable to take care of, which is really fun in and of itself. And so they're very curious, they're very creative, and when you're teaching a sea otter a new behavior, it's fun to see the things that they'll come up with. Um, one of my favorite otters that I ever worked with, we, I was working with her just with some toys, and she was offering this behavior where she really didn't like when her toy was facing a certain way, she would always <laughs> flip it back the other way. And so we sort of worked and made it into a fun training behavior where she would always flip her toy upside down. And the things that they do are just sort of funny. They really like hitting things against rocks and so they make a lot of noise. I have a fun video of Chloe, one of our sea otters, hitting a couple of her toys up against the rocks first thing in the morning. So everything they do is just a little bit silly and that's one of my favorite things. Amazing, incredible. We can hear a little squeaky in the background. But do we want to take a little break and see What's happening in the back? Or is yeah, there still some great. cuteness to be had out here? I think these guys are taking a break. So All right. Katie and I are actually going to go feed Amazing. some Amazing. All right, let's head behind the scenes, TikTok. So we were just inside of our otter habitat. We are here behind the scenes of the otter habitat. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Get this exclusive view of behind sea otters. Woohoo! And I am joined with mammalogist Erin, of course, and mammalogist Katie. Hello, guys. So what are we going to do now? session with our other two sea otters that we have here. We have Millie and Chloe. Chloe is our eight-year-old sea otter and Millie is five years old. And we're going to work with them in sort of the way we would typically work with sea otters. 923 is not quite there yet on some of his training. He's mm -hmm. just a little bit young. And so you'll get a chance to see how we work with our adult female sea otters when we're doing a normal training Amazing. session. Amazing. And don't go anywhere, anybody. We are going to head back into the habitat to say hi to the baby before we wrap up, maybe even sooner. We have raised almost $400 for our nonprofit aquarium, oh, and you get a star. And you get a, a gold star. star for you, TikTok. <laughs> thank you so much to our 21 supporters who have raised, are donating um, over $350 today. Thank you so much for your support. What is that adorable star? That's so cute. So this is actually their vitamin that's mixed in with a really yummy mix of clam smoothie that's yum. frozen. That is yummy. So we actually give our vitamins, or give vitamins to our sea otters every single day. There's two different ways we can do it. We can do it in this form where we make these little frozen treats for them. Or we can give it to them in an oral syringe, which Erin's going to be able to demonstrate to Chloe. Amazing. Cool. Should we get started? Yeah, absolutely. All right. So remind us again, we have four southern sea otters here at the Aquarium of the Pacific now. Thank you. I've almost slipped up so many times and said, oh yeah, we have four, I mean three southern sea otters here on TikTok Live when the baby was still a secret. But we do have four southern sea otters. And Erin, can you remind us of their names? Yeah, absolutely. So we have Chloe, who's the one swimming towards us right there. Mm -hmm. And then we've got Miss Millie. Millie is our largest sea otter, and she is also our youngest. Millie is about 23 kilograms, so she's just a bit larger than Miss Betty. And uh, Katie's actually going to tell you a little bit about what we're working on. I'll be right back. Amazing. Yeah. Katie, what are we working on? So we're just going to be doing their last session of the day. Like Erin said, this is kind of typically how we work with our uh, southern sea otters. So we're asking for behaviors and reinforcing those behaviors with their food. So this is stuff that 923 will eventually be working on. 
um, and that we'll be bringing Betty back on to work on too. Amazing. Um, she's on vacation right now. Yeah, she's she on mom vacation. Right now. <laughs> she's doing a really good job being a mom. So we're, she really is. We're she giving really her a little is. behavior break. That's amazing. TikTok, if you are enjoying this live stream so far, don't go anywhere. There are more otters to be seen. We're going to head back inside and see the baby in a little bit too. So don't worry. And in the meantime, if you can share this live stream with your friends and family and make sure you're double tapping on your screen so that way you can send us some likes too. We'd super appreciate it. Thank you to the 22 donors who have raised almost $400 for our nonprofit aquarium. Thank you to the real Robert, our anonymous donors, number one, Lil V, Era, Ash, Sam, John, Sean, Phil, Low T, Madeline, Pixie, anonymous, 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 Quex, and then all of the others. Thank you all so much for your support. We are so appreciative. So our mammologists are heading inside of the sea otter behind the scenes area right now. So this is behind the scenes of our otter habitat. And like Aaron mentioned earlier, we have two otters behind the scenes, two in the front right now. And the baby, I'm assuming, will eventually meet these two. Am I right? They will eventually meet these two. Today is actually the very first day that our sea otter met our or was introduced to our sea otter habitat. And so though we do have two more sea otters for him to meet, we thought introducing him to a whole new habitat and two whole new sea otters might be a big day for just such a little guy. So That is a pretty big day. We're going to hold off for just a little. So this is Chloe here. She is one of our adult female southern sea otters. She's a very sweet disposition for sea otter. And she is enjoying some of her shrimps up here on the ice. These guys got some ice for enrichment as well today. Amazing. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh. Next. So you might see how good Chloe is at taking the syringe. Good girl, Chloe. Good job. Let's get some clapping emojis in the comments for Chloe. What was that there? That was actually a vitamin syringe. So we blended up some clam into a smoothie. It looks a lot like a vanilla smoothie, but I'm sure it does not taste like a vanilla <laughs> smoothie. It does not smell like it does not smell like vanilla smoothie. It is just a bunch of these clam tongues and some water blended up yeah. together to make a nice cold smoothie for our sea otters <laughs> that we mix in with vitamins. That's a behavior we train our sea otters to do so we can make sure that they're getting all the nutrients that they need and they eat very specific marine mammal vitamins that go into that smoothie as well to make sure they are getting a nice balanced diet. Incredible! There are so many good questions coming in. So speaking about their care, what kind of uh, uh, health care do our animals receive here at the aquarium or specifically our sea otters? So our sea otters get an exam once a year or twice a year, depending on if they're older. During that exam, they will also get a full dental cleaning, which is pretty cool. Um, and if you guys are ever interested, we actually do have some of our TikTok videos featuring the sea otter exams. Uh, in terms of other health care, Chloe here is training to open her mouth so we can brush her teeth. Let's see if she can open her mouth nice and wide. What she's done eating the ice that she has here. <laughs> Hello, Miss Chloe. How about in the She's like, hold on one second. This ice is crunchy. Wow. She is amazing TikTok. Let's give her another round of applause. Chloe's <laughs> being so amazing today. Um, we got a question about Chloe. Do sure. we ever trim her nails? That is a good question. We actually have never trimmed her nails, nor have we ever needed to. But if that was something that we saw with Chloe, we would probably train a behavior where we were able to. Mm -hmm. So as it stands, these guys do have a behavior where they present their paw to us and we are able to examine it. Their paws are very, very sensitive. And so we will probably have to work with them pretty closely, make sure it's very nice and positive and give them lots and lots of snacks. That's a thank you for letting us do something like trim their nails. Amazing. And Aaron, do otters have personalities? They sure do. These guys could not be more different for two sea otters. Chloe is a very mellow animal. She eats a lot of food every single day. She's very, very gentle. Mm -hmm. um, Millie is one of our other sea otters, and she's a little bit more rambunctious, uh, which is fun to work with as well. So each otter is their own individual. You get the best of both worlds back. You really do. <laughs> so if you're just joining us, welcome. We're in our behind the scenes area of the sea otter habitat. Excuse me, habitat. Join with Chloe and Millie, of course, behind the scenes. Um, and I wanted to ask you a question, Erin. Sure. And that is, what do you like most about caring for sea otters? Ooh, I like everything about caring for sea otters. To be honest, they are one of, obviously, the cutest species that we have here. <laughs> obviously. But the coolest thing about sea otters is that these guys are actually what's known as a keystone species, which means that they're one of the most important species in the habitat in which they live. Here's Miss Millie. You can see her. Here nice. is Miss Gorgeous Millie. She Hello, gorgeous. Millie. Everybody say hi, Millie. Hi, Millie. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, like I said, these guys are what's known as a keystone species, which means that they're super, super important. 
And the reason that they're so important is that one of their favorite foods when they live out in the ocean is sea urchin. I've had sea urchin before, it's pretty good, but sea otters love it. And because they have that huge appetite where they can eat one quarter of their body weight every day, that means they're eating a lot of sea urchins when they're going after them. And so sea urchins, although they are an important part of our ecosystem, can easily become too populous. And so sea otters eat all of those excess sea urchins, and in that way they are protecting the kelp forest because sea urchins' favorite food is the kelp. So sea otters are really important to making sure we still have a kelp forest. And so they protect the kelp habitat, which is one of my favorite things about sea otters. And I love that I'm able to take care of them, teach people about them, and teach people why these guys are so important. That is incredible. Let's talk about how these otters came to our aquarium. So all of our otters are unreleasable rescues. That's Can you correct. tell us a little bit about what that means? So it can mean different things for different otters. Some of our otters were orphaned very young and never quite learned how to be a sea otter. And so it's really important for otters at a young age to have sort of a female role model. Isn't it important for all of us? <laughs> I will agree. I agree. And so sea otter pups need to spend a good amount of time with their mother learning how to be a sea otter. Mom's going to teach them everything, how to swim, how to groom, how to dive down, how to find food, what food's tasty, what food's not. All of those things are things they learn from their mother. And so up to about six months of age, it's really critical that these guys are hanging out with their mom. Chloe here was orphaned very young. We don't know what happened to her mom, but she was found all by herself without that sort of strong female role model. And so she was actually brought under human care because she is not going to figure out how to be a sea otter all by herself. The Aquarium of the Pacific has actually been really fortunate to partner with the Monterey Bay Aquarium Sea Otter Program. And so what we're going to be doing is bringing sea otter pups here that have been orphaned and pairing them with one of our adult females who can hopefully teach them how to be an otter that can go into the ocean and live out their life as a sea otter and help protect the kelp forest out there. So Amazing. That's a program we're going to be starting up and part of the reason why we have Mr. 923 here is developing our staff to make sure we know how to take care of very young sea otters and then also seeing how our females do with young sea otters like 923. Incredible. Someone said in the comments, dude, I can't believe how cute sea otters are. And you are utterly correct. Let's talk about their cuteness. So they have very adorable paws. They're also very furry and fuzzy all over. Can we talk about their fur? Sure. So sea otters are have one of the densest fur of any mammal on the entire planet. And so in a square inch, which is that big, they have about a million hairs. That's really hard to visualize, but on your head, if you're an average person, you have 100,000 hairs. So all the hair on your head, take it, multiply it by 10, and then squish it down to the space <laughs> so this just big. Just there, just that size. And that's how dense their fur is. It's so specialized that it actually keeps the sea otter skin totally dry and helps to keep sea otters warm even though they live pretty much their whole life in the cold ocean. And so these guys are really incredible animals and that fur is so critical to their survival and their well-being that if sea otters ever have fur compromised in any way, like oil spills can be really bad for sea otters and um, that can be pretty bad for them. So yeah, we want to make sure we're taking the best care possible of our sea otters. <laughs> Amazing, that is so true. And we are able to provide them the best care. Thanks to your support here on TikTok, we raised over $600 for our sea otters in our nonprofit aquarium and the 12,000 animals that call us home, including Miss Millie here and the baby sea otter who we're gonna go back and see in just a little bit. Everybody stay tuned for that. If you are new to our account, we are the Aquarium of the Pacific. We are live every Tuesday here on TikTok Live at 3 p.m. Pacific. So make sure you're following us and you can join us every single week. We feature a different animal every week. This week it happens to be otters and of course the baby otter. We're gonna go back and see in a little bit, so stay yeah. tuned. Just a little bit. We're gonna finish up some of Chloe's dinner before, oh, I'm sorry. I'm cool, so, hello. <laughs> and then we're Hi, gonna Aaron. go back outside and talk a little bit more about 923, our baby sea otter. Amazing, can you remind us again what you're feeding them today? Sure thing, this is a clam tongue. So this is the inside part of a clam if you were to just cut it out. Um, Chloe's like, give me that. Yeah. Delicious. We also have squid, which Chloe and Millie are receiving. 923 has decided he doesn't really love squid, and so we'll offer it to him periodically to make sure he has a nice variety in his diet. But for the most part, because he eats a lot all day, every day, sometimes when he sees squid, he just kind of goes, eh, not into it. Eat it. <laughs> so Chloe likes it. She'll Chloe says it. no problem. And then we also have shrimp as well. So this is a peeled and deveined shrimp, so it's nice and ready for Chloe to eat in one bite. Amazing. Katie, can I ask you a quick question? Absolutely. What is that pole for? What's that? What's that pole for? Oh, the This is a 
joining us. We're here live at the Aquarium of the Pacific, currently behind the scenes of our sea otter habitat. And we are going to head to the main exhibit again to see if Mr. Baby is out and wants to say hi again. Mr. Baby. Mr. Baby. Erin, can you tell us why we're wearing N95 masks? I sure can. So sea otters, unfortunately, can be sensitive to COVID-19. So believe it or not, because they can catch it, we are working very carefully with them. We're wearing N95 masks just in case to protect them from any sort of exposure that they might get. And we are also working very hard not to touch them. We're washing our hands very thoroughly before we touch any of their food. And even when we do their food prep, we're doing it alone in a room, wearing a mask, wearing gloves, and really being careful about the things that their food are exposed to so that we can protect our sea otters best we can. Amazing. Thank you for all your hard work, Erin. And Katie, too. All right, snack time. Let's go through and see if we can answer some comments. Someone likes the name Archie. I love that name too. Let's see, going through your comments, guys. We have raised over $600 for our nonprofit Ethereum. We are so thankful. There's Erin filling up her buckets. Yep. Yum, yum, yum. yum. Mm -hmm. Amazing. By the way, my name behind the camera is Madeline. I am joined today with my mom, just Erin, and we are behind the scenes of our sea otter habitat. We're going to head inside. Oh, and I. Are they back? They're back. Oh, they're, so back. they're back, you guys. Everybody get ready for this. Get ready. If you are taking any screenshots and you want to share them on social media, make sure you tag us. We're at Aquarium Pacific just about everywhere. Oh, hi, guys. Hello. They're taking a little siesta. You guys snuggling in here? Can I get a shot of that? Oh, my goodness. All right, everybody. We are inside of our sea otter habitat once again. And if you're just joining us, you did not get to meet Mr. Baby, who is right here earlier today. We're calling, I guess we're calling him Mr. Baby now, too. Mr. Baby. <laughs> Mr. Baby. Name for him. And who is he joined with today? next to Mr. Baby, Mr. also known Baby. as Otter 923, is Betty. Betty is one of our adult female southern sea otters. She is nine, going on ten years old. Oh, he's holding his tail. That was so cute. <laughs> uh, right now, they are grooming. So a lot of times, after our sea otters finish eating, they get nice and snuggly. They'll go through and they'll groom their fur, which is really important to them. Uh, and so they'll kind of comb through it with their paws and lick through it. And uh, I love the way that they sort of wiggle their little feet together. I love when they wiggle. It's so cute. Amazing. This is so cool. You guys, after this stream is over, go comment on our latest video what we should name the baby sea otter, okay? That oh. way we can keep track of them. He's eating. He's eating. What a good boy. What a big boy, this Mr. Baby. This is amazing. So can you remind us, Aaron, how um, Mr. Mr. Baby came to <laughs> the Aquarium of the Pacific? So he is actually a rescued sea otter that was found orphaned. And so we don't exactly know what happened to his mother. All we know is that someone found a little baby sea otter all by Aww. himself. Now sea otters are very, very dependent on their mother for quite some time. And so without a mom, he did not really stand a great chance of survival all on his own. So he was brought into the Monterey Bay Aquarium sea otter program and um, they took care of him. They actually needed to bottle feed him for a period of time because he wasn't even weaned yet when he was orphaned. Aww. And uh, they made sure he was hitting all his milestones and he came to live here at the aquarium just about a month ago. So we've had him since he was about nine or 10 weeks old. We're very fortunate to have him here. He's doing very well. We immediately paired him up with Betty here, who again is one of our adult females. And she's been showing him the ropes of how to be a sea otter. She's really good at being a sea otter. Yeah, she's, she's, she's great at it. it. <laughs> He's using Betty as a pillow, which is cute to see too. <laughs> Amazing. So cool. A lot of people are asking, why are they on ice? So the ice is actually... Otters on ice. Otters on ice. The ice is some enrichment for our sea otters. And enrichment is just a really fancy way of saying that we like to change up their habitat from time to time to give them new things to interact with. We actually don't put ice out here that often. We put it out to make sure that they have something different to play with, something to interact with. 
and uh, they can eat it, they can roll around in it. Betty really seems to enjoy sleeping in it. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is so cute. Oh uh, my goodness, you guys, we do not get sick of this. I, no. I'm, I'm not in here every day, but Erin is in here just about every single day. Erin, does this, you ever get tired of seeing no. this? I feed sea otters like eight to ten times a day. Oh, Betty. <laughs> All right, Miss Betty. All right, Miss Betty. Mm -hmm. And I feed them so often, but everything they do is cute. I mean, you can't you get, get sick of it. No, look at his belly. He's oh. so cute. So adorable. Erin, if someone wanted to feed sea otters almost every day like you do, what can they do? What's some of your, of your career advice? Uh, if you wanted to become an animal care person like me, and if you want to work with marine mammals, I think the best career advice I can give you is get whatever experience you can working with animals. Uh, getting into the field, it's a very small field working in zoos and aquariums, but as soon as you're sort of in and you know people and they can vouch for you and say, hey, you work super hard and I love having you around, um, that goes a really long way. So for Absolutely. me, I was an intern here at the Aquarium of the Pacific. I did my internship in the marine mammal department, and even though at that time I wasn't working directly with the sea otters, I got to help with their care, make their food, prep their diets, cut all their clams in half. That was a lot of work. And uh, work around them. And I think that the people who work here really like me because as soon as they had a job, oh, sorry. Okay, I'm so sorry. No, 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 you're fine. Uh, they hired me right on. So get whatever experience you can and make a good impression. Oh, I thought this was gonna be a better view, and it kinda is. There we go. Is? That's a little bit better. Oh my goodness, everybody. He's all snuggled up in there. He really is snuggled up in there. Someone asked a great question. Why did we choose Betty to uh, pair up with him versus the other otters? That is a fantastic question. So Betty, we actually weren't sure if she would be a good surrogate mom or not. And so we wanted to see what she would do if we put her with a little guy. Millie, we're actually pretty sure is going to be a good surrogate mom. And Chloe, we are not quite sure either, but we needed to choose one, so we chose Betty so we could see what she did with him. And so far, she's doing a really good job of sort of sitting with him and teaching him how to do all the otter things. All the otter things that he needs oh, to learn. <laughs> Just like being the cutest. She taught him that. Oh yeah, he did not know how to be no, cute without Betty. <laughs> Amazing. Can you give us a size comparison of how big a sea otter is when they're first born? They're very, very little. I couldn't tell you exactly how big they are because they're mostly fluff, to be honest, when they're first born. <laughs> um, they're very, very small. And they grow pretty rapidly. He's actually gained about five to six pounds since we got him, wow, which is good a job. Lot. Let's give him a round of applause he's in the doing, comments. He's doing some good growing. Yeah. When we first got him, he was only about... Say he was like 12 to 13 pounds. He was little, and uh, yeah, he's gotten a lot bigger since then. And Betty has certainly helped him grow a little bigger as well. She's very satiated right now. She's eaten a lot, and so when she gets really full, she'll actually share some of her food with him, and that's cute to see. She'll pick up all the pieces and she'll just hand them to him. Like here, that's you can eat really this. sweet. It that's is amazing. Sweet. He is a good eater right now. Good for you, bud. Incredible. I'm so sorry if the donation button. Sometimes it takes a minute to click back over to where I want it to go. But if you swipe left, it'll go away and you can see your full screen. But thank you so much to everybody who has tapped the donation button. I appreciate you. Um, we have raised over $700 for our nonprofit aquarium. You guys, if we got to $1,000 during this live stream, that would be an amazing warm welcome for little baby otter. And that would feed one of our sea otters for two weeks. And we really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So like I said, it costs $2,000. Oh. You guys, I'm getting so distracted this live stream. I'm so sorry, as I hope you can understand there's a lot of cuteness going on. But like I said, it costs $2,000 a month to feed each otter. And we have four otters here at the Aquarium of the Pacific. So it gets pretty expensive. Thank you so much for your support here on TikTok Live. That money goes right back to our 12,000 animals here at the Aquarium of the Pacific and also our education and conservation programs. We couldn't do it without you. Someone said that their daughter's favorite animal is otters. I hope you are watching together. And if not, we upload our live stream uh, pretty often to YouTube after. So you can tap over to our uh, bio and check out former or past live streams and then we'll upload this one later today too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Lots of stuff going on. This is amazing. Someone got, said it costs $2,500 a month just to feed them. So they totally get it. It's a lot of food. <laughs> so we have some sea otter noises happening here. And if you go to our latest video, you'll hear a squeak. We've also heard some little puppy noises too. Yeah, I'm talking about you, mister. Yeah, I'm talking just about you. You're embarrassing me, Madeline. Oh, no, I'm not. I Where are you going? Go got a bowl. Very busy. Look at him just kind of make his way over there. Plop. There we go. This has been amazing. Thank you so much, Erin, for teaching us all about baby sea otters today. Let's see if we can answer a few more questions before wrapping up. 
go through here. I will uh, so tell you much. anything you want to know about Anything you want to know about sea otters. Mm -hmm. How do you know if it's a girl or a boy sea otter? That is a really good question. So if you saw a sea otter at a distance, the best and really only way you can tell is males tend to be a little bit larger. Um, but otherwise, you might be able to tell from their genital opening where it, whether it's a male or a female. Mm -hmm. And so, kind of like people, they've yeah. got different 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 parts and yeah. so you'll mm -hmm. be able to tell that way but if you're seeing them at a distance there's not really an easy way to tell other than males tend to be a little bit larger amazing <laughs> Sorry. what are you doing over there moving Ooh. ice i got moved this ice. i gotta move this ice i have a very important job here at the aquarium bye-bye bye-bye <laughs> <laughs> amazing let's talk a little bit about their fur color so you can see betty here is starting to go a little gray under her chin maybe a little bit on top too What's that all about? So sea otters actually do vary in coloration and sometimes they will turn very, very white or silver. And sometimes oh. they'll maintain oh, oh, I heard noises. I heard baby noises. Sometimes they'll maintain that beautiful sort of chestnut brown color that they have. Um, Betty as she's aged has started to develop some silver on her cheeks and just under her chin. Some of our sea otters that we've had have become very, very gray or white at an early age. Betty is almost 10 years old and is still a pretty brown otter, so it does seem to depend a little bit on their genetics as well, what coloration they end up with. But we do tend to see a slightly silver or white coloration as they get older, just like me, starting to develop a little <laughs> silver just it as I get happens. older. It happens. It happens to, to the best. All. Amazing. Good grooming, Betty. Are you noticing them, or the baby kind of venturing out on his own a little bit more? Is he pretty much say right glued to Betty? He seems to, when he realizes Betty's in one place and she's comfortable, it seems like that's when he's like, okay, I can explore yeah, I can around hang out up here. as long as I know where she is at all times. Yeah. And so right now we're actually seeing him do some of the best exploring I've seen him do since we introduced him to the habitat. Let's give him a round of applause in the comments. Let's get some coffee <laughs> emojis for baby guy. He found just one piece of ice and then a fake starfish, a sea star, <laughs> and he is kind of hitting them together, which is funny in and of itself. Um, Betty's grooming her tail, which is very cute right here in front of us. That is adorable. Let's talk, can we talk a little bit about otter grooming? Why is it important to a sea otter? So sea otter's fur is a really important part of their anatomy. And it is something that's pretty unique to sea otters, how dense their fur is. So, I'm sorry, he's making the sound. He's making the baby noises. Oh, he stops every time. I think it's me talking where he's like, stop it. I make sounds <laughs> Stop now. it. I am making the noise now. Uh, but their fur actually keeps them warm. So most marine mammals have a layer of blubber on them, which is just some thick fat that keeps them warm. Betty does have a little bit of fat on her. Oh, nope. It's really hard to hear. I wonder if you, TikTok, if you can hear that, put an ear emoji in the comments for me. It's such a little sound. It's so little. It's so cute. Betty okay, is falling continue. asleep there. Uh, and so their fur so is very distracting. It's I totally so understand. cute. It's so distracting. Their fur basically acts the same way that blubber typically would for other marine mammals in that it keeps them warm in the very cold water in which they live. So sea otters are pretty comfortable in nice cold temperatures and that's because of that super thick, super dense fur. And so it's important for them to keep it well groomed because well groomed fur is much better at keeping a sea otter nice and toasty and warm than not groomed fur. And so what they'll do a lot of times after they eat or if they've been swimming for a while is they'll go through and they'll comb all of their fur and make sure it's nice and straight and fluffy. And then once it's nice and fluffy, it's gonna keep them a whole lot warmer. So that's pretty cool and that's really um, something special for sea otters that is a cool adaptation that allows them to live in the ocean. Absolutely. And people are commenting the ear emojis mean that they can hear him. I know it's a little loud inside of this habitat, very echoey too, so we appreciate you guys letting us know. It's hard to know what you can hear, but it's definitely worth it. Had some squeaks. So that right there is not a real sea star. Don't not. worry, it's just part of the habitat. He is taking much interest in it. He's like, I want that. I could have this. Sea I could have this for me. This is mine. This would be great. This is just how Aaron and I talk to each other yeah. <laughs> without TikTok live being here, so excuse us. Totally organic, I yep. apologize. But, oh, he's eating an ice cream. It's crunching time. Madeline and I, Madeline being the one who's hosting this Hello. live stream, we hang out with our animals all the time, and we are big fans of all the cuteness that happens here at the aquarium. <laughs> that is correct. He's digging in the ice. He's got, oh, he's busy. Look at he's that. very busy. Look at that. This is my job, actually. I have to do this. I have to dig. Oh my gosh, TikTok. This was an incredible live stream. Thank you so much to Baby Boy and to my mom's Aaron. Hold on, I'm going to zoom out of your face. Hello. Hello. Okay, back to it. He's, He's doing it. Do you guys have any other questions for me about sea otters? I am so happy to talk about these animals all day, every day. This is the greatest job in the entire world. 
I think everyone just wants to be you. They want to work with sea otters too. So if you could give advice to anyone who wants to be a sea otter trainer or work with marine mammals or maybe just any animals in any way, what would, would you recommend? Yeah, I think that the best thing I can advise is just get whatever experience you can working with animals, however you can. When I was a kid, I worked at the animal shelter in my neighborhood and I was, you know, helping clean cat and dog poop, which is a far cry from sea otter care, but at the same time is exactly the same as sea otter mm -hmm. care. Correct. What I do is I prepare their diets, I make sure that they're doing okay, certainly have to clean up after them, that's a big part of the job as well. And uh, these guys not only poop a lot, because they eat a lot, but they also shed a lot of fur. And that's so right. there's a lot of cleaning that goes into taking care of sea otters, make sure their habitat is nice and pristine, they'll actually dive in the very cold water in their habitat, clean everything. And I think showing that you're not afraid of some hard work is a really big part of animal care. And then just getting whatever experience you can, familiarizing yourself with what's normal for different animals and what's not. Do an internship if you can or volunteer. The aquarium offers volunteer programs in almost every department, which is really, really cool. And we have so many husbandry volunteers who get to work with our marine mammal collection, our birds, um, penguins, you know, it's it's a really cool volunteer program. So if you live locally and you want to sign up for that, we usually will post when we have volunteer openings and you guys can check it out. Yeah, and we are located in Long Beach, California. That is in Southern California. So if you're local, you can actually come visit the aquarium in person. You just need to make a reservation on our website and you can do so at the link in our bio. Um, Aaron, what should you do if you see a sea otter in the wild? <laughs> He's falling asleep. He's so cute. He is adorable. If you see a sea otter alone and it's an otter pup, there is actually a stranding hotline that you can call. And if you just Google stranding hotline marine mammal and you call that, you can take care of that. Make sure that that otter pup is not orphaned or alone. But if you see a fully functional adult sea otter just swimming around living its life, you should appreciate what it's doing from a nice healthy distance. Sea otters are a threatened species and they are protected by the Marine Mammal Protection Act as well as some other laws. And so basically it's not appropriate or legal to approach these animals up close. We want to appreciate them for what they do. We want to appreciate the fact that they are protecting the kelp forest and they are a keystone species in that habitat. But we also want to give them a nice respectful amount of space. So get some binoculars and watch from a distance and really enjoy because they are some of the most beautiful and fun animals to watch in the ocean. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Erin. And you guys are actually helping us rescue sea otters and take care of unreleasable rescues. Thanks for your donations here on TikTok Live. We have raised over $800 for our nonprofit wow. aquarium. Do me a favor, TikTok, when we wrap up this live stream, go comment on our latest video of what we should name the baby otter. We want to take all your suggestions. And I think with that, and a sleepy baby otter, we're going to wrap up today. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining us. It was an amazing stream. We're live every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Pacific here on TikTok Live. This is our last stream of the year, but we'll be back next year in 2022 with some really fun stuff. Boop them. Anna Marion. There's, there it is. There it is. Boop. There's boop. a little baby head. A he's, boop to end. He's all the way. He asleep. is precious. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Make sure you're following us, the Aquarium of the Pacific, here on TikTok. And we will see you next week. Thank you, Erin. Of course. Thank you guys. Bye bye.